This is John Cena. Smash the like button if you think that Adam Cole should go to the gym. Okay, this is ridiculous. This is going too far. Now, I just watched Buddy Murphy versus Adam Coleslaw. And Adam Coleslaw won. I'm not shocked, but once again, this don't make no damn sense. Why are we still seeing this in 2024? And you realize how the ratings is going down every week because you can't make this make sense. Who produced this match? You can't make people believe Adam Coleslaw can beat Buddy Murphy clean. Now, I bet you're wondering, well, does size matter when it comes to fake pro wrestling? Listen, everybody is not created equal. I can see maybe a Brian Danielson beating Buddy Murphy, but not Adam Coleslaw, and here's why. We have to go by physics and genetics and athleticism. Buddy Murphy is around what? Maybe six foot, over 225 pounds. He's a big bodybuilder, right? But that man can move. He is very athletic. He might be the most athletic in the goddamn company. He is a rare breed, right? He is one of one. There's not a lot of guys that move like Buddy Murphy at that size. Dude, he's bigger than me, okay? He's bigger than me. How about you let that sink in? I'm also a bodybuilder who's very athletic, but Buddy Murphy is bigger than me. So why is he losing to Adam Coleslaw? Man, you can't make that make sense. Um, I get it. You are trying to push Adam Coleslaw in max, but we've been there, done that. So my whole entire point is, as a match producer, how can you produce Adam Coleslaw into being believable, into beating Buddy motherfucking Murphy? I saw this match, and it did not make sense. Buddy Murphy dwarfed this man. He looked like a high schooler. This was a grown man facing a child. I'm like, bro, you've been out of action for almost a year, and you can't go to the fucking gym? That's insane, man. So once again, con man is pushing small men into beating big dudes. He is legit. Buddy Murphy is legit. You can't call him muscles for no reason. No. That man can move. Bro, he's more agile than Adam Coleslaw. That's why you can't make this work. Right? This was a bad loss, and it insults your intelligence. Because Buddy Murphy is that guy. Okay? He's better than Adam Coleslaw. And of course, I knew he was going to lose. It just... Why, though, right? Every week, Hook, or Cassidy, um, Adam Coleslaw, Wheeler Useless. Every week, we see all these small men beating big guys that they should not beat. Yes, does size matter? Yes, if you are more athletic than the guy you are facing. That means you can make that work, right? For example... This is like Adam Coleslaw beating Brian Cage. It's like on paper, that don't make sense. Yes, I know Brian Cage is a big jacked up guy, but he has skills though. That's the point. There's a lot of guys that got muscles, but they can't go. For example, a lot of people think that the Ultimate Warrior had no skills because he was a big jacked up guy. Well, Buddy Murphy is a big jacked up dude who can wrestle his ass off. Why is he losing? against small men this match was crazy man i don't get it we are talking about skills versus skills on top of that buddy is a big guy so adam coleslaw has no chance adam coleslaw has no chance against a guy who was a genetic freak buddy murphy and you wonder why people are not watching we don't want to see this be realistic i'm like I can see Buddy Murphy losing clean if it was against a Swerve Scott or a Adam Page, not to an Adam Coleslaw. This is the only company who does this. This is bullshit, man. It's like, I don't get it. Can we please leave Adam Coleslaw in the past? Why are we trying to push him? Stop and start pushes. He's going to be injured again eventually. I'm shocked Adam Coleslaw was not hurt during this match. But this pissed me the fuck off. Because 
if this was mixed martial arts, these guys would not be fighting because they are not in the same weight class. So, I bet you're wondering, yes, size does always matter in certain circumstances. This was one of those situations where, yes, size does matter. If a guy was big, buff, and jacked up, who can do flips and kicks, who is more agile, more athletic than Adam Coleslaw, then yes, Adam should lose this match. Like, why book it? Why can't you book Adam Coleslaw against other small men? You see, this is why Triple H was the only guy who knew how to book Adam Coleslaw, because we never really seen Adam Coleslaw beating big guys when he was on the black and gold brand under Triple H. Because even Triple H knows, bruh, I can't book you against Kane Cross, right? That would not make sense. Kane Cross will kill Adam Coleslaw, right? Triple H is very realistic. For example, Sami Zayn beating Gufa Larengalel, right? I can see that based on Sami Zayn is over six foot two and he's very agile he's very athletic Sami Zayn made that match work because yes Sami Zayn ain't no bodybuilder but at least he's over 200 pounds and he's over six foot two so i can see him beating Gufa because let's be real Gufa ain't no bodybuilder so i can see Sami Zayn beating him but not this, man. You can't have Adam Coleslaw beating Buddy Murphy. You can't have Orange Cassidy beating Shane Taylor. You can't have, I don't know, Adam Coleslaw beating Roosh. Guys like that. You can't book like that. You can't book dumb. Book for the casual audience. Fuck the sickos. They don't know shit. They are hurting your show. Man, this outcome really pissed me off. It's like, why book the match? Have you seen Adam Coleslaw in a fucking mirror? It's like, this was a force. This was all elite fake pro wrestling 101. Let's push our small men into beating big guys. Fuck. Every week, every show, man. It's like, it feels like big guys are the new underdogs in this company. It's like, wow, man. Learn how to book. It's like he books for his own enjoyment. Con man books for his own enjoyment. He don't respect big guys, right? Um, obviously, when you watch big guys on Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, they are jobbers. Big guys are jobbers. Now, I'm not saying every big guy needs to beat a small man, but it shouldn't be on a regular basis where you are trying to insult my intelligence right why are we seeing hologram beating big guys it's like when will it end you can't push every small man fuck now what do i think about bobby lashley i guarantee you this bobby lashley would not be booked right in this company i guarantee it right I don't care how much he is getting paid. He is not safe in this company. He's going to job out to a lot of small men. I can see Orange Cassidy beating Bobby Lashley. Yes, mark it down, it will happen. I can see motherfucking Danny Garcia beating Hobbs. I can see it. Maybe next year, but yes, it will happen. But this match was fucking ridiculous, man. Fuck. You can't make this make sense. You can't have a small man. Adam Coleslaw, he's maybe what, 160? Maybe. Adam Coleslaw is maybe 160. Hell, I think Hook is bigger than Adam Coleslaw. But here we are. We got Adam Coleslaw beating big ass swole, very agile, Buddy Murphy. Man, he is just as athletic as Omega. That's facts. Buddy Murphy is just as good as Omega. And why are we seeing him lose to small ass skinny Adam Coleslaw? This was a force. You can't keep doing this, dog. Fuck. Look, man, I'm trying to save all elite fake pro wrestling. I'm trying to help them out. But Con Man won't learn. It's like, when will you learn? 
It's like, how low does Dynamite have to get for him to learn how to book? And second, why is Adam Coleslaw a good guy? This makes no sense, man. Why is he a good guy? He was the devil. He stabbed Max in a goddamn back. So why are we cheering him? What? I'm like, bro, he backstabbed Max. So why are we booing Max? He's the victim here, man. It's like, man, this company won't learn their lessons. This is this bad booking one-on-one. You are going backwards. First, we got Adam Coleslaw beating big ass swole dudes like Buddy Murphy. And now he's a face. How? Why are you a good guy? Like, huh? You are the devil. You was bullying Wartlow. And now we are supposed to cheer you. That is not how that works, bro. But I'm done.